What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Batman, and I'm coming at you with a analysis of episode three of Hunt the Truth called Critical Condition, and this is following our friend, the reporter Benjamin Gerode, as he tries to debunk these these lies about Master Chief's past and trying to hunt the truth, as as they're calling this whole thing, hunt the truth. So the very first person that uh, Ben is talking to and let me just mention that picture in the background that's of a glass planet they leaked that on hunt the truth earlier this week I think that's a pretty cool image just shows the utter destruction that a glass planet uh, by the covenant causes and uh, I, I don't know I thought that was cool to put in the video so uh, the very first person Ben talks to is Ray Kurzik and he tells Ray like please debunk these claims of that girl Katrina who said that John died at the age of six and that her, her his parents were still alive at 25 24 and Ray's like, dude, his parents were alive at 25, 24. There's, um, there's documents from uh, them having jobs and all this other kind of stuff. So basically Ben's getting confirmation that uh, there, there's something weird happening, that the, his parents, there's, he's getting two sides of different stories, one from the government and one from people who actually lived there and, and knew John's family. So that's really cool. Or people who are looking up records that are off the record. So... The next person he talked to was, of course, uh, Sully uh, from Oni. Uh, we talked about him last week. Go check out my last video if you want a little background on Sully. Uh, but basically, Ben mentions, like, hey, dude, why is, you know, they're saying that John died at 6, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, are you really asking that question, Ben? He's like, there's, you know, I told you this before. It's hard to find records on glass planets. And he kept repeating that over and over, being a dick about it. And... Basically, he asked Ben, is this on the record? And Ben's like, yeah. So they, they cut it off there. And basically, Ben just says, if you want, if I want to keep my job. Sully basically told me to stop asking those kind of questions. So, of course, the government doesn't want any secrets getting known. So the, the next guy that Mr. Gerard talks to is a retired Navy person named Jacob Walker. And I'm actually going to link a picture that they leaked earlier on Hunt the Truth. Uh, a picture from it says from JW I'm guessing this is Jacob Walker I'll let you guys take a read at it it's just a little postcard all right so this guy Jacob Walker actually went to Naval Force Reconnaissance School at Black Sea with with uh, chief uh, boot camp was with with John so you know Ben asked him you remember John he's like hell yeah I remember John that kid was crazy you know he was uh he said he was about 16 years old but he looked like he was 21 years old because he was just so huge he was a just mass masculine very muscular just big guy he, he kind of stood out like a sore thumb and he also mentioned that john took the lead every time during their um you know their rallies their missions their you know any kind of drills they were they were doing and he mentioned a, a very specific drill um it was like a kind of just running and doing your mile you know miles and miles of running and he said John took lead every time and the rule was if you came in last that you would have to find your way back and walk back while everybody else took a pelican and and went back to camp so John would make sure he helped all the stragglers if they were you know people who were hurt and stuff made sure he you know motivated them helped them go on and John always made sure he came in last and took the punishment for the team and that's something that he'll never forget about John which I thought was pretty interesting uh, just to show that, you know, Chief has a human side and that, you know, he did care for people. So it was very cool seeing that. Now, the next person that Ben talked to was Anthony Petrosky, which is actually a retired ODST. And this was off the record. And he's using something called ChatterNet, which he called was off grid so that nobody from like Oni or anything could listen in. And the very first thing that Petrosky said what, about John was that the kid was a freak. The very interesting thing to note that Ben mentioned that John didn't finish boot camp till 17, but Petrosky saying he was 12 or 13 when he saw this. And this is a pretty crazy event. I think it's pretty badass, but it's also crazy. So a uh, commanding officer, CPO, ordered four ODSTs to fight John. And Petrosky was there to witness this. He said the four OD ODSTs surrounded John. And he said, you know, when the fight started, it said that John's fist sounded like rapid fire explosions, like meaty cracks, like they didn't sound like a normal punch. 
Uh, he said the fight was over in less than five seconds. Four guys, five seconds. It says single body blow killed one ODST. The two other guys had a shattered spine and cracked pelvis. And then another guy, the fourth guy, had his freaking face caved in and instantly died by John. Four, five seconds, killed two guys, like brutally injured two, two of the other ones. And he said there's no way somebody could do that unless they were augmented. And as far as we know, we didn't. Uh, as far as what normal people know, they know that Spartans were augmented, but not at such a young age as 12 or 13. So that was a very, very interesting uh, tidbit there. And then the next person that was in the interview was Ellie Bloom. And she said that two things were wrong with uh, Ben's whole take on this stuff so far. One is that Dion Govender is a liar. And there was no boxing on the planet Radinus 2, which is John's home world. Uh, it was actually illegal back then. So she said there was no boxing coach and the school sure as hell didn't have a boxing lead. And that the kidnappings that supposedly John was rescued from uh, that took place in Elysium didn't happen. She said those, ki those Elysium, was ne they never had no kidnappings by insurrectionists. It was actually pretty peaceful. So those are two interesting things. Again, we're getting conflicting stories from people who were actually there or people who were claimed that they were there people who actually know the real truth so the very final person that ben talked to was thomas Wu, and ben asked him dude was elysian city under control of violent insurrectionists and you know he was kind of given the beat around the bush kind of thing and all he said was i want peace of mind for my family and that he shouldn't be talking to ben and then it ended with Ben realizing that the conversation took place over Waypoint, which I'm guessing that he just said anybody could be listening to that conversation. So I guess Waypoint isn't secured like the other network he was using. So maybe he's in some big ass trouble now because Oni's already on his back. You know, Sully told him, stop asking about those damn questions. So we're heading into very, very cool places with this Hunt the Truth thing. We're getting more information on Chief, which we never had before. Uh, that's always cool. And. It's definitely a way to get hyped up for Halo 5, for sure. And if those of you who didn't read the books, those of you who don't read the comics or anything or watch the, the web series, you're, you're getting a little background story on some characters, which is really cool. And we're getting background on the most important character of them all, Master Chief. And I think it's cool that they're exploring more of his childhood. Um, I, as far as I remember, we didn't get any of that since the book The Fall of Reach. So very interesting stuff and stay tuned for more guys i'm going to do these every week for you if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you want to know some more stuff about halo whatever kind of stuff you guys are interested in we got unboxings reviews let's plays um, news everything we cover it all here at triforce gaming network so please give us a subscribe and until next time guys Batman out